So Buddy and I are out on walkies again. Um, another rainy day here, unfortunately. So there's another dog over here, but the park's pretty quiet otherwise. So we're just gonna do a little bit of our walkies. Yes, good boy. So I'm just giving him treats for staying in heel position. I don't know if he's noticed the other dog. He's excited to be out right now. He wants to pee on some stuff, I think. So if he pulls at all, I just stop walking. I'm just gonna give him a second chance to pee here. Thank you. Let's see. Oh my god. He's a bit whiny in the car. Good to pee? No, you just wanna sniff stuff and just being whiny? Giving him a little leash, but slow down. A little leash pressure if he goes too fast. He's not really. I think he's seen that dog, but he's not really caring about it. <laughs> so, um, with the engage disengage, all I do, like if he was the dog's moving away from us, yes. When he looks at the dog, then I give him a treat. I mark him yes, and then I give him a treat. This way, and I'll say this way when I'm going to change direction. I like to use that um, frequently and teach him good choice. Slow himself down there. Um, I use it fairly frequently and so that I can use it to uh, change direction, like say if there's a dog coming towards us that looks aggressive or something, then we can create some space. Good boy. Slow down. There you go. He's always excited at first. It takes him a while to get into a rhythm. Good boy. Good job. Good fluffer butt. Good boy. So, trying to pull me over to pee on that? Good. And if he comes back, I'll walk over with him. But I don't want him dragging me to do anything. Dragging is a no-no. When you're a big boy, do you want to pee on it? A nice addition to our walking video, sniffing things. There we go. Good boy. Let's practice a little stay. Okay. Sit. Good. Wait. Wait, uh, excuse me. Sit. Oh, practice in a second. I'll get my long line out. 